My top three skills are I'm a very confident person. Um, I'd say as a result of this, I'm very friendly, so I can get on with people pretty easily. And combining these two means that I'm, I'm very easy to approach, so I'm very supportive, you know. I know it's really cheesy, but I'm a good listener, which I feel you kind of need for this role. And it's very easy for people to come and approach me with topics and issues. The main issue I've found, which I've been approached by peers about, is the issue with parking and transport to Bay Campus. Because at the moment, there's, there's no real parking. I've heard that actually today they've cut off the construction site, which a lot of people were parking on originally. And I kind of feel like we're, we've made a campus, which is miles away and said, you know, we'll kind of reduce the, the bus fares, but they've not been reduced by much. It's still quite a big chunk and the buses aren't as reliable as they should be. So I'm suggesting either we implement much cheaper bus charges um, or like a specific route where it's like easy and cheap for them to get to it or some sort of, we've got kind of the car sharing page, but an official car sharing scheme. So we keep with the green policy with the union we can actually have parking on the campus. As a trustee, I feel we need more of a kind of the, an actual SU and the social sort of side on Bay Campus because at the moment we've got a lot of students that have just moved there from the village and at the village we had the wonky sheep on Singleton we've got JC's we've got Divas and although we've got cafes and we've got that little kind of bar there we don't have that actual whole JC's sort of vibe where you can go meet your mates for a coffee or you can have cheap drinks at the same time or you can drink before you're going out so I think we need that because if we invest in that people are going to be spending money in the uni you know we're going to continue actually making money at the university in the places where students it's very easy for them to spend money at a place like that which we don't currently have on Bay. I'd make my mark by obviously being a voice for all and being supportive so anyone can come to me but also I've got a couple of things that I'd like to implement one of which is a very simple putting in lockers at um, both campuses because one of my friends was saying it's like you're moving in sometimes if you're going to the gym you've got lots of books you're spending the day in the library you don't have time you can't go back you just want a locker where you can put your stuff where it's securely stored and also I got approached about sleeping pods and maybe like a chill out zone and it may sound kind of silly but it can be quite cheap and simple once you find an area where you can kind of nap in between lectures again if you haven't got time you've got a lot of work on but you want to just kind of chill out you want to nap you want to rest between lectures, rest if you're doing a lot of work. We, we can put a place in, in university where students can do this and students can chill out and relax, 